Well, folks, here we are. <laughs> for those, sorry about that, folks. For those who have, oops, sorry. <laughs> My bad. A little screw up here. A little technical difficulties here, folks. But for those who are unaware of what happened here, this girl went missing, missing ten times over, and and since then she has been found safe and secure. Now. A whole bunch of stuff is now happening, and has happened during this during this time between before the the the, the, the lead up to this. And basically, I have to say, it is one hell of a ride. I saw this uh, this one article here somewhere either March the eighth or the ninth, I think, and I was thinking, hey, they got the they got the model number, they got the uh. Got his license fixed. This guy was gonna be found, right? Right? Until March the 13th when I saw this. Yeah. Looks like. Yeah. Kinda makes a difference, right? Now, the reason why I'm coming here is because it's technically of one simple, simple reason. And you can see in the comments here, it's because of this. Jackson here actually found, found this article posted on the 13th, and as it turns out, these guys fled the Dallas out of Philly International Airport and ditched the car. So technically... Yeah, yeah, they they ran somewhere, and as you can, as you want to really know, I, well, pretty much, I, I don't think I can actually show it here because I don't want my name to be put on here, here. But I made a prediction when I saw this, and everybody was saying, "Oh, they're gonna go to Cancun," and like, "Yeah, yeah, probably one," and then all of a sudden, it actually kind of hit me. What if they're heading straight to the border? And I typed up this really elaborate, elaborate thing here. I mean, basically, I said that technically that they were making a beeline for the uh, 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 the Mexican border and something needs to be done. I kind of feel guilty about this. Technically speaking, if I if I if I had known to call that number I saw on uh, this article here. That Jackson had put up, and God bless his soul, whoever he or she is, but technically, if I had put that thing on there, technically, maybe I would have called the number and told them that basically I have a sneaky suspicion they were going to make a beeline straight for the border, or basically they're already there. There, and they need to put out some sort of alert. Basically, if you want to go look at the title of this thing here, you can pretty much look at the title, you can type it in, and I mean, basically, the mother was worried. Then, this happened Saturday, and my, and my, and my entire, entire body just, just sunk. I'm like, my god, I just knew this was gonna happen, I knew this was gonna, gonna happen, happen. Basically, these two may have ran to Cancun, and basically just staying there, I mean, there was a whole bunch of, also, comments saying, me love you long time, and whatever, and technically speaking. And, basically, they, I've also heard that they put out an alert in Mexico, and basically, virtually, virtually, uh, that technically Mexico is now being alerted, they're looking for the girl, blah, 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 blah. Technically, this was really scary for me, because I was shaking profusely, even when I was going to church, I was in a coat and everything, and I'm like, dude, I am shaking, I need to go up for prayer for this girl, and I didn't go up there, yeah, I kind of feel stupid right there, I know, I'm dumb, I'm completely done, I'm dumb, I don't know why I didn't, but technically that's kind of how it is, until I found this on Sunday afternoon, the funny thing about it, it was that technically they were found Saturday, Saturday morning, 
And the article that you all saw here, whoops, sorry, better make it bigger. <laughs> the article you saw here was basically made, made, was, was, the, the, the video that you saw, saw right there, the one where, where the guy was just, where it was paused and basically showing a, showing what appears to be a, uh, a, a police official there, was probably given to be s probably Saturday afternoon. They found her son, they found her. Saturday morning, so I was doing confusing, I was breathing well, how's it got, finally, the girl was found, Esther C's in prison, and all this other stuff. Now, here's where it gets interesting now. The fact is that technically, there was even a timeline about when these two met, and you can see me, you can see, see it here, that technically, the... They met, they, they met, and, you know, all, a whole bunch of stuff here was happening, and all of this stuff was going on, but apparently there was some sort of relationship going on um, between them. And everybody was saying, where was the school? Where's the school? Where's the school was doing this? Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. That comes later on, folks. I I'll tell you why. Why, too. But anyway, I was actually thinking the same thing too, but, you know, you know, me and my big ideas, whatever. Basically, this, this was a very shocking, and as you can see here, I'm not going to even play the whole thing, thing, but technically, they were having a secretive relationship that got a little too close for them. According to the lawyer, according to Stacy, Stacy Esther's lawyer, you know, it got... At the time, she was trying to keep him away from SD to the point where basically she had to go directly to the girl's house and put a restraining order on him. And between her and the, between her and the, between her, between Amy and Kevin, and the lawyer said that basically it wasn't like 24 hours. It wasn't even 24 hours before they, before he couldn't get away. But he couldn't stay away from Amy, and technically they ran to Cancun. She practically took jewelry and her passport. So. This looks like this was planned, and even her brother said that she got, she, she was she was gone before the bus came. Basically, there's a lot of things going on here. I mean, I suggest you pretty much watch it here. Here. Apparently, and as you can see here, we have somebody here saying that it's the same thing I just said a few minutes ago. They took the, they took the pass. She took her passport. And some and some of her mom's jewelry. This was obviously planned, as this guy was saying. Two, where all the arguments and confrontations? No one thought to take to take her phone, and that's also true. I mean, basically, technically, and it and it just kept going crazier and crazier and crazier from here. I mean, there were arguments between Esther C and his wife, Amy and her mom. I mean, the dad basically went back to China. And all this other stuff was happening. Technically, something was something was gonna give. And uh, this little snake in the grass here, here is basically. This was seeing a forty-five-year-old guy. I mean, there's no problem, right? Right? Well, I guess I've I guess I've kind of left this. I guess I kind of left this entire thing out. Left this uh one piece of information out. So I'll bring it up right now. Kevin was a coach of a female soccer soccer team. That means that Esther C couldn't have seen her until, couldn't have had any uh, relations until she was 18 years old. And I th think I brought that up in the, la in the last few minutes, but technically I didn't. If I didn't, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm bringing it up right now. Basically, basically Esther C... <laughs> Esther C. Kevin, I mean, I just call him Kevin. Kevin basically waived his rights, right to be extradited to uh, Anna Town to face charges. She, however, is in a hospital, though, for mental treatment, which makes no sense to me, right, that she would need treatment or whatever. But technically, I say, and there was a virtual. Here, now, why am I covering this? Why are, and why is there actually two of them, right? 
as one as as one person says it here, the girl is a victim. She let her establish that from the outset. She was willingly in a relationship with Esther. She, she personally lied to the school records and falsified adding him as a stepdad. She intentionally missed school bus in order to meet the man. And and it just went down from there. She willingly left the area with the man. She had no effort to contact her mother before, during, or after when she went missing. Six, she enjoyed her spring break in Mexico with him. Technically speaking, apparently everybody's blaming the man, but you're not going to blame her for this? Hold on just a minute, folks. You're going to find something else very special going on here. Trust me. Now, this is going to be the last one here. And this will be the very last here. And as I said before, there's two of them. One here, one here. Technically, as Lana has said here, if you can pretty much look at it here, these guys have been involved for seven or nine months. And she was only 16. Now, he could have... Now, he could be in trouble for satisfying rape, too, when the investigation is complete. As I said, position of authority. Anybody, whatever Pennsylvania deems that position of authority, you are pretty much... You cannot screw her until you're 18. It's kind of here where I am in Maryland. You can't screw anybody until you're at a certain age. Well, unless you're in position of authority. Excuse me for that. But technically, this is kind of it. And pretty much, I have to say that technically, everything comes out. And now we kind of come here. The mom, the poor mom is, a, is regrets having a fight with her daughter. And there's nothing here. Apparently, ma'am, if you're listening to this, or if you're going to be listening to it, you have something. You have a lot of, I have a lot of problems. Not on your side, but... You're the parent. You're not supposed to regret having a fight with your with your daughter, one. And you're a single parent trying to raise there's a girl. You completely lost control of your daughter. And I think that's kinda what happened here. She uh apparently the and according to the and according to this so called link here, I actually looked at it and oh my goodness, I feel so sick, I didn't know what to do. They've been involved for eight or nine months. And the wife found out that he was allegedly, repeat, allegedly having sex with the girl. That is something I did not see or suspect. I mean, everyone was saying that basically the whole me, you know, that's a, but technically, that's pretty something we, we would ultimately have to look at. Now, now, the word allegedly comes from the word alleged. And as you can see here, there are about a couple of definitions of it. So either it, either he's been accused of having sex and it happened, or it was true and it existed. So technically, this is a virtual point when I have to make, and technically, that's kind of it. The fact that this whole thing had was drawn out so really, and oh by the way, the. The wife knew too, and basically didn't open her mouth to do anything to stop him. I mean, even though she tried to stop him, but she didn't put her foot down, 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 down. If you you get my drift, basically, that's kind of that's kind of where it is right now. There's an investigation going on, and basically, basically, this thing could get really, really ugly. And ah. Uh, and now, oh god, what the heck? <laughs> and I'm trying to do that, sorry about that. But in a way, this thing is pretty, pretty big now. And of course, of course, there's something I mentioned earlier about the, you know, uh, the school not doing anything and how the school didn't do anything about that. Well, turns out. They did. <laughs> they did. They, they, they really did do something. Upon upon further inspection, either Wednesday or Thursday, or probably Wednesday night going into into Thursday, I dug around this the commenters box, and I found somebody who went by the name of A. Technically, 
the information here has been written out, and you can see the commenter, com the the comment that he that he or she left. The school actually found out that basically Amy had forged the signature, putting Esther C as a parent and taking her out ten times. He was actually banned from on the property, banned from the property immediately for taking her out, from taking her out. So in a way, this whole fight thing that happened here. Could have been something that could have been led up to this. We don't know. I mean, I mean, the girl forged the signature. She's in a lot of trouble too for doing this. And technically, I have a very good i have a very good feeling that this may not end well for for a few people. I mean, sheesh, that's that's pretty that's pretty bad. Okay, I guess we're kind of almost done here. We're wrapping it up now. To so all those parties that are in, in the, that are part of this investigation, to the Allen's, Allen's Town Police Department, you need to question, question Kevin about this if he comes back in here. Or better yet, you need to ultimately ask questions about, ask Amy about their relationship before you question him, I mean something doesn't sting. Something stinks, and I don't know what, what it is or whatever, but technically something really does stink to high heaven here. And for some reason, I'm not buying what's happening here. Something, so some somebody missed something here, and technically, technically you guys can pretty much find it. You guys will, will almost have to pretty much try to try to ask her about this very carefully. And try to ask her about why she forged signatures. I mean, she could be facing a lot of jail time herself in Juvie. And that's pretty much kind of, kind of, kind of it, it for this part. To Stacey Esterstein. Why the heck did you wait so long? And why didn't you do anything when you found this out? I mean, call the cops. Call somebody. Buddy. Buddy. I mean, basically, this could have been nipped in the butt from where you were. And technically speaking, this, this is kind of on you. The fact that you're going to get a divorce because of all this kind of shows the fact. However, the good book here says you can't do that. And I'm going to, and if you see and a scripture reading about that up there, you can pretty much, let's see what it means. Technically, you're at fault here as well. You're not getting away scot-free. You knew this was going on and somehow you enabled this. You're an enabler in all of this, and technically, you you bear the blame for pretty much much fracturing your family even more. So don't say that I was trying to say my I was too embarrassed because my friend was gonna be fractured. Uh, your family was already fractured when he screwed her already, or allegedly did. So you should have gotten the truth out of him the minute you heard of this. All right. To me, Lou, why? Are you regretting that you fought your daughter? You tried to discipline your child and you failed. Now, I have a commenter here who would lovely speak about what you love to give you some advice here. His name is, and it's actually a YouTube, not a YouTube, excuse me, a Yahoo commenter who went by the name of Barry, Barry in hiding. I'm just going to read, read the final Final sentence that he that he put up here. Don't wait until it's too late and then blame yourself for interfering. As this mother did, meaning you. Interfering was not the problem. Interfering too late is the problem. And that's what you did. 
You waited too long. You waited too soon. And this happens. Your daughter gets into a fight with you, and she takes your, some of your dilly, your passport, her passport, and Baden Mud leaves. What are you gonna do? Can't blame yourself. And, and technically, that's just it. You don't. You don't promise them an iPod or an iPhone or anything else. You promise them protection. And whatever Esther did may not have been sound, but technically it could have been a it could have it could have been a the whole thing could have been planned. I mean they they, they were gonna go to Cancun anyway. Gonna get married, I don't know. But technically this whole thing looks planned and she pretty much played you like a harp. I'm I'm sorry. But technically that's what I think what happened here. She got into an argument with you and she played you. To Kevin Esther C. I don't know what to say about you, but you're in a lot of shift. Your wife's about to divorce you because you went off with a sixteen year old girl prob and have, have and have ultimately been accused of sleeping with her. Now or should I say, allegedly being accused of sleeping with her. For those who know don't know what alleged means, means, I mean, I've already talked about it somewhere down down the video, somewhere around the video, but you can go look up the word yourself and judge by your own, own, uh, two eyes. You better sing your little, sorry little butt out. I mean, they look like they're gonna get you in the charge, charge of a cap, the only thing I'm gonna get you with, with a charge of in, interfering with the custody of a child, but also if you've been screwing her, they could also get you with a position of a. They could also slap you with a position of authority charge. This means basically you could be going to jail for something that, well, the both of you did, and we don't know what happened. We don't know. We don't know if she advanced on you or you advanced on her. But technically, you better start singing. And you better start singing, singing the minute you get inside that interrogation room and start telling them what's going on. Okay? To Mr. Liu, why did you even leave your family here and then go back to China? And then not come back or keep in touch with them? I mean, buddy, you're the biggest dirtbag I've seen, seen so far. I mean, technically... Technically speaking, of course. The fact that you weren't around is the main reason why all of this has now happened. And and because of all of this whole fiasco. Now, technically, I'm hoping that you're listening to this nice little video. And hopefully, hopefully so, you need to get in touch with your wife. Because technically, she's... Also facing charges of perjury. Hopefully. Hopefully the charge of perjury. But technically speaking. Because she signed a whole bunch of documents. And the last time I checked. Uh, perjury. Perjury or falsifying documents. Is an absolute real. Real crime. So pretty much in a way. You better find some way to get in touch with your wife. And actual what's what what's going on because technically this this is not going to be easy for her or for anyone else. To the hospital that's housing Amy U. Basically, while you're doing a psychological evaluation, you might want to start checking checking her you know what for any vaginal penetration. Cause technically that could indicate that she could have had 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 sex with Kevin. I mean, hands down. Now I don't know for what or any type of semen anywhere, but technically you need to check for that. I mean, you need to check to see if there's any if there's any vaginal penetration since 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 she's come back and technically. The, uh, I don't know what else to think or to say, say anymore. But we have come to our final 
judgment here, and technically this is the final. As as Doc of all all he surveys says, because we've heard from the media, the cops, the old guy, the Jerry and wife, the mother, and plenty of others. But there's still one person we have not heard from, and it is this person that that may be the key to this whole thing. Amy, we have not heard from Amy. According to what, according to, to a few articles, she is having a psychological evaluation having done to, to her. I wonder, what does she know about all of this? Did she plan all of this? The Allentown Police Department needs to question her her about this because she pretty much broke the law here she forged documents she falsified documents that's gotta be a stretch in jail jail at the least and I know that technically that's exactly what is going to happen they have to question her because we don't know what happened here and and basically we don't know anything about her but enough about that Remember when I called her a snake, and basically, basically told her that technically she was a little, and I mentioned it again sometime in this video. Well, it's time to cover that. You see, I don't mean that a snake in a literal or federal manner. I meant that on a zodiacal plane. What do I mean? You see, Amy Yu's birthday was was right after September 11th. September 12th, 2001. Now, we don't know if that's true, but I've done my research. A little research on there, and that puts her right on the year of a year of the snake. This means technically she this is a is what I was talking about. Snake. This is from a if you don't believe this me, here. Is from, take a look at this. Mm, uh a site called the Chinese Zodiac.com, as you can see here. Now, pretty much, it goes into personality differences, uh, health, careers. But the one thing I found about, found interesting, is this. And this. First, the relationship parts. Snakes are excellent seducers, and they never have trouble attracting others. However, they will be the ones to decide whether a relationship has potential or when it does not. Once they have chosen a partner, a snake insecurity side will begin to show through. Snakes guard their chosen partners There's like prized possessions, becoming jealous or even obsessive. Snakes prefer to keep their feelings to themselves. It's important to never betray a snake's trust as a betrayed snake will make it their goal to get even one day. And you can see here what's about the metal snake here too. But that is where Amy Yu is. She's a snake. Particularly a metal snake. And the funny thing about it is that this whole thing here, the whole fight about getting Get to be with Esther C. Get to be with Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, sorry. This whole thing could have been staged. And I'll also read... Read the, uh... Read the metal snake here. I mean, there are other sites that will say different things, but they're all pointing to the fact that they... They will... They are incredibly goal-oriented. Go as I'm starting now, metal snakes will stop at nothing to get what, to get what, to get that which is believed they they deserve. Fear is not a vulgarity in their in their personality. With their the money and their inevitable acquired more and more possessions for themselves. I mean, basically, technically, and you can see all this stuff here. But technically, that is. Kind of what I was 
what I was pointing at. She's a snake. She could have pretty much deceived or or as in their personality or in its personality here. They are effectively getting things they're they are effective at getting things what they want. Even if it means having to scheme and plot along the way. So there. It's it's kinda open and shut, folks, what what happened here. Here, leading up to the events of her running away with Kevin. And I think this whole thing could have just been planned, if you know what I mean. As, as a YouTuber named the Star Wars Reading Club says it, so there we have it. Basically, I wouldn't be surprised now if Kevin and Amy actually plant this whole Cancun stuff out just to be with him for two for almost two weeks. Started this whole fight to get her so wound up that she was so upset that she could go be with him. I wouldn't be be surprised if they've been knocking it or whatever. But technically, if if that if those claims come out to be true, then then Esther she could be facing a could be in a lot of trouble trouble with this. However, it's still up in the air though. I mean, technically, this entire thing. Looks like, looks like something, some, something happened here, and basically, I, I, I know something's not right here. So, with that in mind, and with that said, I have a request. I need to ask everybody. I need. And this is specifically going to anyone who wants to take this up. Something isn't right here. And the truth needs to come out. But not through ABC News. Or, N or NBC. Or CBS. Or MSNBC. Or CNN. Or some other establishment news media. There needs to be an independent voice to write this article that I'm kind of asking, asking about. So, I'm calling on all those info warriors to come and help me discover the truth. Not, not only because that it's the right thing to do. But something doesn't sit right here. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of there's a lot of things missing here. And basically, I really do need your help, folks. So any info warriors, there's, it, hey, this is a voluntary thing too. If you want to know that, I mean, I I need to pretty much have a, have an article written. And technically, and have all leads followed. Specifically, those who are in the Pennsylvania Allentown area, we kind of need your support on this to see what happened here. We don't even know what what in blazes led up to a girl, to a 16-year-old girl running off with a 45-year-old married man to Cancun, Mexico. I mean, it doesn't add up. Something's not right here. And the only person that's that can say anything now is in a is 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 being is, is actually having their head examined right now for psychological evaluation. Amy knows something, and I don't know for what, but some reason every time I take a look at that picture, I get queasing, and I think I know why now. I mean, this girl is very seductive, very. Very smart, analytically, and whatnot. But technically speaking, she—if she plant this whole thing out, 
along with Kevin, as I said before, then this could pretty much, much dampen everything that's been going on here. Well, I, I don't know if that came out right, but there's something else. I don't know if that came out right. I don't know. But, folks, I'm asking for your help here in this, uh... In on 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 this investigation that's ongoing, the Allentown Police Department needs to ask ask these three questions to Esther, to Esther C, and and Amy. How long have they been in the relationship, and when did the relationship turn sexual? Two, did they tell? Did they tell any of their friends? You need to question anybody that was like a classmate of Amy's, seeing if there was anything wrong with her or anything like that. They also need to question people on on Kevin's side, like co-workers and stuff, to see if he ever told them about it. Because this allegation of him screwing her sounds doesn't sound too good, and it's at... at and, and at the time, as it's recording, this isn't, this, this is just an accusation. It doesn't seem to hold, doesn't seem to hold a lot of water. But, if anybody had information, or even saw him, basically, knocking her, then technically, this could easily, easily put him, put him in a lot of trouble for her. Especially if she was actually 15 years old when this sexual relationship started. And any other questions that can come up. Because technically, the truth needs to come out about this. And we got a guy here about to lose his wife. And whatnot. And technically, I don't know what else. And technically, there's... There's something... There's something afoot here. But, anyway, folks. That's pretty much it. For this whole video. I don't know what else to say. But please. Folks. If you pretty much want to. Want to support me. And. You know. Help out. With this. With everything. Please go to. The. Please go to my. My channel. The Info. The Info Gundam. And. I'll see it next time. Oh. And I almost forgot. And this is to Amy. Personally. Young lady, you are in a lot of trouble. You've forged documents to be with a be with a father figure, and you're pretty much you're and and, and, and pretty much that's all I can say on the subject right there. You need to tell your story about this, about this whole ordeal, whatever the cost. We don't know if you have been. Have been knocking it with Kevin or what? You need to be truthful about this investigation, and you need to pretty much, much, just tell the truth. You're already facing a lot of trouble. Don't make it a whole lot worse on yourself by lying and trying to protect him. Because if you do, you could be facing 